What's good, everybody? It's Ryder G tapping in. Man, today I got some good news and some bad news, man. Lucky from Hoodstocks posted on his IG and his YouTube account. Basically putting out PSA saying that he's done with podcasting, that he's put his last seven years, he put his heart into it the last seven years, and it's been taken away from his family. And financially, the gains, they don't outweigh you know, the time lost with his family, you know, and things like that, man. So he's deciding to step down. Uh, according to him, he says not for clout. Uh, and I was shocked by it, bro, because lately they've been going up. You know, he has 190,000 subscribers. Man, that's a lot. In my opinion, he's like the number one Chicano podcast. You know, the number one Rasa podcast in California, probably in the West Coast, dog. And it's just a shame, bro. You know, for someone like him to want to walk away, you know, where his podcast, you know, they're doing big numbers, bro, but he's saying they're not getting paid. So I don't know, man. And the type of podcast it is, right? And the content they create is based around the streets, you know, around gangs, you know, predominantly Southern street gangs and things like that, or the Southern culture, I would say. But man, that that's the bad news, man, that he's stepping away because he has good content, you know, and he has a platform that can help people. But what comes with that is a lot of problems, right? You know, you get a lot of flack, you know, you might interview one person from one barrio and then he has a bunch of enemies and now they're your enemies or they talking shit to you, you know what I'm saying? And really at the end of the day, it's all about business, bro. A lot of people do this for money, for financial gain. And, you know, they already have... a uh, money they do it just because you know to pass time or they really care bro and they want to get a message out or they just do it for fun bro just to have fun and basically from when i got out of this all the fun was taken out of you know the podcast you know and what people gotta understand when you do youtube when you do content you know when you prosper it's because it's fun you know you're you're having fun with it if you're not having fun with it you're not going to succeed you know you're going to dread going in there and recording and editing and things like that. So you got to like what you do, bro. And it seems like the fun was taken out of what he was doing, man. What he got going on over there at Hoodstocks. And like I said, bro, great podcast, great setup, great people, right? Big numbers, you know, like that's that's crazy, man. Like what are they going to do with 190,000 subscribers? I mean, he could always walk away and later down the line decide to come back, right? Or here and there tap in or just do it here and there not all the time right so we'll see bro but as of right now he wants to walk away and that shocked me bro but the good thing out of it too is he's gonna have more time with his family things like that bro and he's gonna get out the way what i mean by that is you're not gonna be involved in the streets like that you know because like i said he, he might interview one cat and then a bunch of fools might you know talk shit or hate or you know what I'm saying? Want that issue with him because, you know, his business is predicated on the streets, right? In the streets, when you do that, there's a lot of enemies, right? People be hating. People need that. Oh, you're messing with him. I need that. So that's unfortunate, bro, that people can't just sit back and enjoy entertainment. You know, they got to make it, like, really real, real. Like, YouTube is starting to become real, like, like real violent, you know? It's, it's, it's starting to get to that point, bro. So a lot of people are stepping back. You know, that's why I kind of step back. You know, I don't want to really talk about jail and things like that. Because I feel like, you know, a lot of people, they get upset or envious. Or I don't know what it is, bro. But you end up getting reported a lot or told on. Or people want issues with you, bro. So it's just best to step back, bro. And I, that's what I see here. You know, lucky from his talks is stepping back. You know, I think it's because fools are probably getting on him behind the scenes. Talking shit to him. He, had, he has to clear shit up when you really... You know, as a grown-ass man, you don't want to be constantly clearing shit up because you own a business that is predicated around the streets, right? You're trying to make money, you're interviewing this fool, trying to get people to tell the story, and you got this fool calling you at 2, 3 in the morning talking about, hey, check it out, and you talk to you. It becomes a headache, bro. People don't want to go through that. And I can see that as one reason why uh, that contributed to his decision, bro, walking away, you know. But, man, let me know what you think. I think that... It's not good for the cultura right now, the, the rasa, you know, 
Chicano rap is going down right now. It's not that good. You know, it's just bad right now, bro. We're trying to... Last year, we were doing good, bro. Chicano cultura. And now it's... it's. I feel like we're taking a step back, bro. But we'll get back to it. But if you lose Hoodstock, bro, that's the biggest platform. So if you lose the biggest platform, just like Fools Community. First Fools Community. And then now Hoodstock, who next, bro? You know, and that's a shame, bro. Because we're supposed to build... And keep progressing and evolving and get bigger and bigger, you know. But what I see is a lot of hate, a lot of people putting smut on people, starting smut campaigns, trying to shut you down. You know, you got to look over your back all the time. I think that he's tired of that, right? Because that's what comes with it, bro. When you base your business off the streets, off the jail, off the south side, off the north side, right? So that's it, man. Lucky from Hoodstock. He decided to take a step back and stop podcasting, man. We'll see if he's serious about it, but he put it out there. And let me know what you guys think, man. I let you know what I thought. I think it's a shame. You know, he should stick around, bro. It'll, it's better for for everybody, man. If he walks away, I think it's all bad. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate everybody for tapping in. It's program time.